And we are building a house now, and we are building a house now, and we are building a house now in Colony Survival. And that's about it, I think, right? Did I? No, I missed the entire layer here. Oh my lord. Alright, hold on. Hello everybody and welcome back to Colony Survival, my name is Twisted, we are once again back in this game, it has been a few days since I last played, as I mentioned I was away for a few days, I did have a little bit of a backlog, but we did have to skip it, that's okay, that's fine, it's not a big deal, I don't mind. So we had a few nice tips in the comments, uh, there's a lot of things we need to do, first, first thing I want to tell someone told me that if you actually use the forestry tool, on dirt, it turns into grass automatically, which is awesome. But you will notice that there is a new thing here. We'll talk about this very, very soon. I just want to test this out quickly. Forestry tool, yes. Oh, <gasps> it does work. Oh my god, that's the best thing ever. We have infinite grass now, guys. We can just create grass from thin air. That is insanely cool. What else is insanely cool? Well, we have nighttime. That's fine. We had some optimizations. So hopefully it's gonna be less lag when the crops are growing. We also had some new changes, so for example, as you saw, no, no, not that, as you saw, we now have a berry farmer, place on grass or dirt. So getting berries is a lot easier, because they just harvest the berries, there's no need to make the, uh, the wheat into flour and flour into bread. And yes, there is now flour in the game, so previously you would make bread directly out of wheat, that is no longer a possibility, now we actually have to use... Oh, we have uh, 20 berry seeds to begin with. Interesting. I like that. So now we actually have to make a grindstone used to grind wheat into flour. That's actually amazing. Because you, as you might recall, I'm gonna actually set a uh, default for this. As you might recall, we recently made a huge wood windmill, which, is, which was totally useless. And it's still totally useless, but it looks really cool. But now we can actually place the grindstones in there. And it's gonna seem like it has a purpose. Also, I did talk to the devs. I asked them directly. Even though a lot of you guys actually told me that in the comments. Uh, enemies spawn 75 tiles away from the banner. So right now, if you go over here, this is our banner. They will spawn 75 tiles in each direction. I think we have most of our base covered from here. They might spawn all the way there near the lake. Let me actually go quickly take a peek. I think we should be mostly covered. Maybe they'll spawn over here, I don't know. But they will be adding... Uh... Hello, zombies. They will be adding many bands which actually extend your zone of control, so it's gonna be fairly cool to have. Because it's gonna allow you to make asymmetrical cities, because right now the best way to build a city is to make it... Uh, to make it uh, 75 tiles, like, away from the banner in the middle. Which is not ideal. Alright, so we do have a house, I did actually add some little extra things over here, added some flowers, they haven't grown yet. But these things should grow, I think they will grow on their own. And they're gonna look really nice. We have some extra lights in here. Looks fairly, fairly cool. I do like that. Alright, let's go. I do want to go to the windmill, but it's nighttime, so I kind of want to do it right now. It's okay. Let's actually go over here in the back. Over there into the slum. No, the slums are over here, right? Yeah, let's go over here and let's actually place some berry bushes, because I want to see what's up with that. Uh, berry farmer tool. Too small, too small, too small. Too small? Really? Too large. Oh, it has a fairly specific size. Too large. Really? Oh, that's kind of kind of weird. Did you say too small for trees? I guess the berries are trees in a way. Berry farmer, yes. So, I mean, I could figure out the correct length by just doing this. Too large. So I'm guessing it's 40 blocks. No, oh, it could be 60. Too small. Could be 60. 80 is too large. I'm guessing it's 60. But this is too large as well. I guess maybe it just has to be 3 blocks. Yeah, it has to be 3 tiles and we have to go as far as we want. Up to 60. Alright, it's, it's kind of weird. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, let's go place it over here. Just so we have some berries. So let's go berry farmer. But they can be four times. It's, I don't know. 48 is too large, apparently. And this is too large as well. That's actually really weird. I don't know. Let's go make have a 30 block tile. And I should, I should probably actually click it twisted. There you go. 
like this. There we go. And we have one remaining job. Let's get a colonist. Let's actually get a few of them. We don't have enough free beds. All right, because I removed a bunch of them. Right, 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 right. Um, again, we will be making more houses very, very soon. That is the plan, at least. I do want to make like a barracks building. Again, these are all kind of barrackish, barracks-ish. But I do kind of want to make a building that has two floors. This first one has one floor. The second one's gonna have two floors, and I actually want to have like beds on both the upper and the lower floor. We have okay, a lot of things. Now let's get a no, not not that. Get a banner too. Let's get a colony. It's actually gonna need a few more of them. Because we want to actually add people to the grindstone. Because I want to grind my wheat. The limits. Okay. Again, uh, the only way to get clay, I did also check with the devs, is to go to an unloaded area. I find it over there. Or we could cheat. There is a way to just, you can type in commands like, uh, I don't know, like, like add clay 50 and give you 50 clay. It's not exactly like that, but you can do that if you so choose. Let's actually change the things here. For grindstones. Grindstones, I want... Give me 16 grindstones, yeah. Seems like a nice number. Make some grindstones. We're the grindstones. Okay, so we should also be getting more seeds now. Yeah, we have 500 seeds already. Okay, we need to expand our farms, like, right now, guys. We seriously have got to do that. Like, go in, go do another section over there. Without the lighthouse. But right now, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna get, take our grindstones. And actually place them over here. It's actually so bright in here. I love it. So, how do I want to do this? Can I can I actually interact? Hold on. What are they like? Um, can I, like, put them over here? Does that look okay? What if I put them instead of these guys? I actually kind of like that. Yeah. There we go. And we're also going to need a crate, of course, because they need to interact with the crate arena. And let's get us some crates. Over here, I guess. Like, we'd have a bunch of them in the corner. It's going to look cool. It's a ton of crates over here. Just stored crates of stuff. A lot of storage. A lot of crates. Hopefully that won't cause any lag. And we could add some more green stones in the corners. Again, but nothing in the corner over here. Although I did realize now that I missed a plank thing. That's okay. What's your problem, sir? What are you trying to do? Alright. What? Oh. There, what? Hold on. What? Where's it? Okay, infinite. Yeah, let's say I actually put it to like 580. Where are they? What are they doing? It could seriously be that the all the crates are confusing them. Hold on, let me actually get them out of the way. Here they are. All right. Okay, the crates were here. Here's the gone now. Uh, let's actually. These were the these are other guys, right? All right, they seem to be able to work. Oh, these are the farmers coming in putting stuff. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, because these guys don't have any crates nearby. Let's actually fix that by adding, like, a crate over here outside. And the guys should be doing all the grinding. I can add more of them, no problem. I know it's grinding, by the way. I'm just trying to be silly. Uh, flour is... that's sand. I'm gonna bake this into bread. So we might wanna... Get a few more of them. Let's actually have them, like, outside here as well. That seems okay. Have a bunch of crates in this area. And let's have like a crate over here and a crate over here. That's gonna be balanced, I hope. Again, hope they don't mind. Don't go all the way outside, sir. Why did you go all the way outside? Is that really the closest one? That one should be closer, right? I don't want him to go outside. That seems weird. And you're also going inside. I don't know what's up with you guys. Let's just place a crate here. What? Oh, yeah. Just place it there. There we go. That should be mighty, mighty fine. This game looks so nice. I love it. You gotta get used to it, but once you do, it looks so so good. I like it quite a bit. Alright, this is a really nice lighthouse, and it actually has a purpose. That is where they they grind down the stuff. That's where the daily grind happens, guys. And it's amazing. I also want to actually get some berry bushes, maybe instead of the leaves. Because they're gonna look a bit nicer. 
a bit more fancy, if you will. What are you doing outside here? You're unemployed, all right. You should get a job, man. Oh, no, you're the archer. Never mind. Sorry, my bad. Where's the berry busher? Is he beating around the bush? Look quite nice. There's a lot of them. There we go. Again, this is not ideal food. But it's gonna add up. And we're gonna get a lot of wheat seeds. Again, I wanna have a, a reasonable stockpile so I can get a bunch of them just waiting for me. Alright, let's actually do more things with the house. Also, I think I did this thing off camera, this thing down here. Let's actually do the same house design over here. I wanna have a door in this area. And I wanna have... Like we said, we wanna use the... Dirt. We wanna use the log templates. Or high temperature. Takes so long to move the bricks. We need I need some tools, guys. Some actual proper tools would be great right about now. There, it's a big house. Again, I could just uh, have people live in a house, have archers live in a house and shoot from the house. Might not be a bad idea. I just have some guys patrolling the roofs. Again, we're gonna build a few houses. That, we're gonna have a few different styles. So there's gonna be one type of town on this side. It's gonna be like just normal houses over here that are just one by one, like early houses with uh, straw roofs and whatnot. You don't want to have some big buildings that are all connected. They're a little bit 3D, like a European style. That might be cool. There we go. Oh, I, I just realized I only placed bricks on one side of these guys. Okay, that wasn't my plan, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna actually change that. All right, I kind of forgot that I was doing everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that later. No, no biggie. It's easy to do so. And this is placed in properly, properly. This seems like really thin, you know. So I'm gonna actually extend it a bit. So this is gonna be like instead of th just three, just three blocks. Yeah, that's way too thin, man. Yeah, especially if we're gonna have this be a double floor, so let's actually make it a bit wider, just like this. Like this, and then push it all the way to the end. And something like that seems Gucci. I love building houses in, in, in games, man. I played so much Timber and Stone. I built so many houses there. It's one of my favorite pastimes. Get the torches back. No, don't... I don't want that there. My light on, turn on my personal light. Uh, this one doesn't have to be logs, actually, because it's on the inside. So we could modify that bad boy maybe later on. Let's actually just get... Uh, no, I don't want it over here. This is gonna be the other thing. Over here, when we have above this, we have another log. So logs go all the way over here, I guess, right? That's gonna be the third level. I don't maybe want one there right now. But the thing is, I want to have, as I said, I want to have a double, a double decker, if you will, go something like this. What the hell? Oh, oh shit! How are you so slow, guys? What the hell? All right, they're too far away. <laughs> That's actually a problem. Um. It's actually not good. They <laughs> took too long to get back. I mean, we can protect our base, but we need... If we continue expanding outwards... We might need new... We might need guard towers. We are gonna build a guard tower. That's gonna be our... We're gonna make a double house here, and the next episode we're gonna make a guard tower. It's gonna be so, so nice. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a little bit overkill, right? <laughs> it uh, seems kind of excessively tall, but I do also kind of like it. So I'm gonna actually just try making the front of the house in this design and see what we end up with. If it's good, we're gonna keep it. If it's horrible, which it very well might be, we are not going to keep it. Simple as that. It should be fairly easy to just do a little bit of a switcheroo, plan some planks, plant some plaster, and see what fits with this design. If we end up with something awful, I'm gonna cut it. If we end up with something awesome, we're gonna keep it, and it's gonna be glorious. Okay, so this feels a little bit weird. It looks a little bit too tall for such a small house, so I'm gonna actually 
try a lowering the roof a bit maybe actually start make the roof the same as this one but start it a little bit higher than the other layer so i'm gonna be, actually move these straw parts and then we're gonna go just build the upper layer and then we're gonna make the roof on top of that that is the plan all right so i think this is a reasonably decent design uh, there's of course a lot of stuff missing here i was originally going to go with a house with just a balcony but i think going for a legit two-floor house makes a little bit more sense so now we just need to actually build a staircase so plan is you go in here you have a bunch of beds on the floor and whatnot you can have like a there's gonna be the bears building i think so it's gonna be just have a ton of beds everyone's gonna sleep in here if they want it's gonna be very very crowded in here not the most pleasant place to live in if i might say so and let's actually open it up over here again we're missing stuff it's uh, not a finished house of course let's have like a little thing like this and we'll move it like maybe one one block to the side like this i wish we had legit stair blocks that would be really awesome move these things again i could make it look a bit nicer by having uh oh i duh, there we go all right awesome i think this looks okay and a lot of storage of course we need to close this bad boy off Otherwise, it's gonna fall down, and that's gonna be bad for business. And we don't want business to be bad, we want business to be really, really good. We are in the wheat business. 420, wheat it. Exactly, yes. That's what I'm talking about. So, we have two layers of plaster everywhere like this. But we lost more people. Again, I really need to get on that guard tower. Because otherwise, we will have a lot of very dead colonists. And I don't like very dead colonists. They're not very delicious. I prefer living ones. And we are building a house now. And we are building a house now. And we are building a house now. And colony survival. And that's about it, I think, right? Did I? I no, I missed the entire layer here. Oh my lord. All right, hold on. I thought I was done. I sang my I'm done song, but I was just wrong. I should probably leave this up for the time being, because we might actually need to use it again. Let's go take a peek. Uh, yeah, we're missing the entire layer here. That shouldn't be too difficult, though. We just have to like, do a little bit of a jumperino. There we go, and just like place them over here. Should be fairly easy to do so. Just a bunch of clicks. And then do this, a bunch of clicks. There we go. So that's the entire house basically finished from the outside. We still need to make the inside look a little bit nicer. Primarily, we need to actually get a floor here, and we need to get some torches, and we need to get some beds, because our people need to sleep somewhere. That's actually the easy part. The hardest part, in my mind, is actually designing a house that looks and feels cozy, and not like a prison cell. And I think we kind of succeeded, which makes me happy. Alrighty, and that's about it, I think. So I had to move the door. Well, I didn't have to, but I felt like it would be better that way. We have a ton of beds in here. We actually have a lot of them. We have 30 spare beds. That is actually quite insane. I love it. So a lot of beds in here, all the way. We can climb up here, and there's even more beds upstairs. Not fully filled. I could fill a bit more, but I decided not to mess with it right now. It's, it's fairly good for a little communal barracks house. People should probably enjoy it quite a bit. I can get so many more colonists now. It actually might be interesting to get a ton more. Because the amount of zombies that spawn depends on the amount of colonists we have. And we actually use a lot of food. There's a lot of zombies, but they never come any close. So let's actually, for our challenge, let's recruit 20 more colonists. If we can. There we go. Let's keep an eye on our food. Using a lot of food per day. Employ 20. Let's go all the way to the max, actually. Let's have 30 unemployed people. They will be doing nothing of value. They will just be spawning more zombies for us, which might be quite fun. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we could always use more archers. That's going to be our kind of task for the next episode, because next episode we're going to build a guard tower next to the lighthouse, just so they can protect the guys working in the grindhouse, so, they, so, so that they don't die every single time they try to go to bed. But yeah, I'm going to actually just end this video here, if you guys enjoyed Feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, it helps out a great, great deal, more than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hannibal Games, Now we'll see you next time.